Hey there, y'all. Eric, our functional farmhouse, coming at you today with a brief overview on the Shelly Pro 3M. This is an energy monitoring device. I've wanted something like this for quite some time. I was kind of up in the air on trying the three phase. And during the Black Friday sales, I went ahead and pulled the trigger on this thing and I got it installed this morning. It's working great. I've been looking for something like this that is local only data capture. Uh, there's a couple of devices out there that are supposed to have been leveraging AI and stuff, mate. And um, no, I, I don't want cloud-based. I want to keep track of this local. It doesn't need to go outbound. And this is doing exactly what I want. Now, this is installed inside. It has multiple uh, transformer clamps. I have very limited room in my meter area. And uh, my panel is relatively small. This is an older home. Back then, code wasn't what it is now. So I am pretty much maxed out in this panel and there's not a lot of room. So I could barely get the clamps for this thing on in here. And I was tempted to have an electrician pull the meter, but I was looking into that and what a pain in the ass. That could take months to get that approved. So I got this bad boy installed this morning. I will not be doing an install because there are just too many possible permutations. I'm not a licensed electrician. I'm not pretending to be. I know my way around electricity and what's safe. And in my case, these clamps have to go upstream of my main breaker, which means that's all hot. So I use best practices. I use insulated tools to get those up and in there and clamped on. Not a big deal. There's just not a lot of room you might be able to do it really easily and uh you know if you're looking at energy monitoring uh we're going to go to the desktop here and i'm going to check that out on the shelly pro uh, web interface this is just by ip on my local network i did use a lan cable to cat5 to connect and set my wi-fi up here uh, we have the three phases on the home screen uh, phase a is obviously ABC, but phase C is the primary phase, and you can see that in the diagram view here. Uh, C is number one, B is number two, A is number three, and the C channel is also the power in for the device, and you need a neutral. This is just a power neutral here for that, and then we have A, a and B have their own power taps uh, based on your needs. Now, there is this neutral clamp that is shown in the owner's manual and on this diagram, and it's an option. Uh, the owner's manual does not indicate that it's optional. It says to use it. However, Shelly Knowledge Base says, you know, how do I enable it? You have to get a transformer. I could use my third transformer since I only have two phases I'm monitoring, not three. However, my meter and uh, breaker box does not have room for me to clamp the neutral whatsoever. So I will not be using that. And then there's a graphing phase in 30 minute intervals. And there's a return. If you're using grid tight solar, that you can also monitor what is going outbound uh, in the transformer clamps. Statistics, this is kind of a neat overview of what's going on in real time. Of course, you have each phase is going to be independent, and the way our meter boxes here in the US are, they're split, so half the breakers are on one, half the breakers are on the other phase. And unless you're only running one or two dual pole, uh, these are going to be different. You know, I've got 10 amps on one, six amps on another, it's completely expected. There's a lot of flexibility with this if you want to do all sorts of different actions. There's scheduling if you wanted to use relays and other things that are Shelly products. Add-ons, these are hardware add-ons based on my limited uh, look into that. So there's all different connectivity. The outbound is defaulted off, which I really enjoy. And obviously you can dial everything into your liking and whatnot. There's scripting capability. There's other components. I am not using Bluetooth Observer for anything, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, there's the advanced, the key value storage, which uh, in this simplistic use case for me isn't really relevant. 
And then there's diagnostics, which are almost entirely for these cloud settings here and uh, outbound. Really simple interface. And, you know, this was kind of a turn on to me. I've wanted something for the house because my I have all Victron stuff in my RV and um, my inverters turned off right here. And so there's not going to be any AC load. Grid is my generator. And if I'm hooked up to a pedestal, um, so my battery's over here, my DC power consumption. And if I was generating PV, I was earlier today. And uh, this is my router and servo running that. And, you know, just in the scope of kind of data logging, we do have an ambient weather station. It is really nice to have a uh, thing. You know, obviously, chicky girls are important to us, so the chicken coop is the second large tile. But um, just adding this extra wrinkle on monitoring and then, you know, validating versus what the utility is telling us is really nice to have that option. All right, y'all, we checked out the desktop and we're back out here. And yeah, this is, I'm really pleased with what I've got going on. And hopefully if you're interested in something, this is a relatively easy install, simple IP log on and no outbound data going out by default, which again, which is important to me. And for the price point, so far so good. We'll see you on the next one. If you got like it, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you on the next one.